Hi everyone, my name is Talia Horner, the pronouns are she, they. I'm the LGBTQIA officer of UTOR. Now UTOR is a national tech workers union. It's a branch of the CWU. So we effectively represent tech workers in their workplaces. And by tech workers, we define that as anyone who works for a tech, for a, for a tech company. So we organize amongst engineers, software engineers, as most people would expect, but then also warehouse workers, people working in Apple stores, front of house, janitors, cleaners, all across the industry. And everyone who works for a tech company is a tech worker to us. So as the LGBTQIA officer, my role is to represent the queer voices in the union, in the branch. And I do that by organizing our caucus which is effectively a structure such that we can kind of come together and talk about different issues and push the union in a certain way such that our demographic of people are thought about, are cared for, represented, and we have a voice in the movement. And we also have great merch. As you can see, I've got some uh, great designs here. There are a lot of problems, I think especially in the tech industry as queer workers. So. We are statistically, uh, demographically, very overrepresented, but in terms of actual voice, very underrepresented. All these companies in the industry, they're engaging in pinkwashing. So they're using this brand of being diverse and externally pushing this narrative that they're very inclusive and that they're a great place to, to, to work with, um, to place to work at, but also you should buy their products. Whereas, what we want to do at Utah is we want to organize collectively as a class, not just amongst, amongst the whole of the working class, and that includes queer workers and trans workers. All of our problems are all of our problems. There is no liberation without all of us being liberated, you know? In this neoliberal society, the capitalist caste has this vested interest in expressing, making sure we express our identities in a certain individualist way and by expressing them as a, a list of commodities or a list of brands that we attach ourselves to such that we can be part of a community. But more than that, it's a way of keeping us on our own, keeping us as lonely, in a sense, in that class sense. But if our identities are so focused on this individual lens and what we consume, then we're much easier to control. We're much easier to get our money out of, but also we're more likely to fight around different media that we consume, rather than building genuine solidarity and community. And it's important that that community comes first and that we build that community and we realize ourselves as a class and as a political class that has collective power to be able to challenge these structures. And through that collective power, through that that political class, we can realize ourselves and our identities, rather than the other way around. So specifically, for me as well as a, as a trans woman, there's, I'm sure you're, you, you may or may not be aware, there's a lot of, I hate the phrase, but a culture war happening, which is, it's a cover up for a lot of economic crises and we've, trans people have become the latest uh, bogeyman, I suppose. Although I hate the, you know, the, the latest monster in the dark. And this has had a really interesting effect in the workplace. And we want to know, okay, well, you've talked all this talk, you've used us for this pinkwashing, you've got money from us, but will you actually stand behind us? And the answer is almost always no. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, but when that does happen, it's because there is a collective consciousness around these issues that can speak for themselves. Queer folk that can speak for themselves, trans people that can speak for themselves as a group. Without that, you just get washed over because at the end of the day, it's not worth it for them because it's a, it's a stock issue. You know, if, if you come out in support of trans rights, you get a lot of turfs barraging you down and they're not prepared to stick up and say, no, we stand by them. It's always these milk toast statements. As, as a culture in the UK, people don't understand what transphobia even is at this point. And you get people debating your existence to your face. And it's, and you're kind of expected to maintain this level of professionality, which is bullshit. It's a really important issue f for us as a union, as without that 
leverage. Without this leverage, they'll just keep doing it. They'll just keep doing what makes them the most money. And unfortunately, that tends to be putting us under the, under the bus. Broadly, in the trade union movement, there is a lot of support for trans rights, which has been really, really encouraging. It's been really awesome to see. And there are definitely problems. There's still a lot of turfs in various unions. And, but overall, there's a lot of positive movement. So specifically, the, the TUC recently launched a trade unions for trans rights network in an attempt to get some support for this for, for trans people, for trans workers. What I found really empowering was seeing a lot of general secretaries from different unions who were cis um, talk about how they recognize that these issues, trans workers' issues, are workers' issues, because they are. If part of our class is damaged and harmed and put under, it weakens the position of the entire class. It only creates rifts in our movement and ultimately our position to bargain or to demand in general is, is harmed. One thing I'm very proud of in our union is our internationalist outlook. In the tech industry, there's a lot of outsourcing, whether that's dev work or content moderation or call centers. It's all outsourced to cheap labor overseas. And they're not our competitors. They are our colleagues. They're the people who we should be able to help. We should be able to help as much as we can. And that is that thought, that ethos, is very much embodied in, in Utah. Um, one of the most, I think one of the, 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 the best things we've done is we've, we've helped the content moderators union in Kenya who moderate the content for ByteDance, so TikTok and ChatGPT, these horrendous, horrendous conditions. Um, and they've unionized and we have to send them resources, like material, genuine material support. And that's the sort of thing that's really important to us. And that's what we should be able to do as a class in the Imperial Corps, is to be able to support these, support these people in our industry and build that genuine internationalist solidarity. Yeah, and beyond that, in our industry, there's so much potential for disruption. If you think how much our society has moved onto the internet and these digital systems, they're very fragile, realistically. It, people like to think that if you set up a couple of websites, then you can just leave it and then that's done. And that isn't the case. It requires a lot of maintenance. Things break all the time. And if you have a group, a team of engineers that are responsible for some critical infrastructure, if they go on strike, then that company is, is fucked. <laughs> there's, 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 their whole infrastructure is down. There's nothing they can do. They'll have to bring in, probably bring in scabs, but it's, there's so much power, that, so much potential power to realize. Yeah, there's a lot of hope and there's a lot of power that resides in in us as, as workers, as tech workers. And it's important that we move away from this concept of unions as, as a service and more towards unions as a way to collectivize as a community, as a way to build solidarity and that understanding of, of each other, not just within that union, but a, a, like a, a, as workers across the class, across the world. There's, there's, there's a lot of hope there. There's a lot of hope there. We've been growing super fast. There's a lot of really energized, active people. And it's really, it's awesome to be amongst that space. And hopefully we can, we can, we can spread that sort of revolutionary optimism. Utah are running a session in the, in the World Transformed, which is on AI and automation in the workplace. I'm sure you've heard about this. It's a very hot topic at the moment. And this is part of why it's such an important issue, as journalists especially are very good at hyping things up. And unfortunately, a lot of the, the hype around how dangerous everything is effectively just marketing for it. And what you don't hear is from the perspective of tech workers. And we've been trying for a long time to get more involved in these panels and these discussions across the trade union movement. Since we are tech workers, we're the ones who work on this stuff. We have, it's, it's a workers movement. 
and we we have the perspective of the workers. So it's 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 a really important topic because it is a big thing, but it's also important to have an actual material perspective from the workers. And that's what that's going to be, and I'm really excited for it, and it's going to be really great. So hopefully you can check that one out. New tourists are going to be sending a delegation into the world transformed, and it's going to be a really great opportunity for folks across the movement, across the left movement. So from us, we have folks from the trade union movements, climate activist groups, and other, and then there's going to be a lot of other social activist groups as well. It's all sending delegations and all meeting at this festival as a chance to connect together and share that experience and share ideas and to be able to draw a better cohesiveness across our movement. And I'm really excited for it. It's, there's going to be a lot of ideas throwing around and hopefully it should be, well, it will be a great festival. I will be bringing revolutionary optimism and hoping to share that. It's a skill and you got to practice it. It's, it's good stuff. Oh, and also a lot of Utah merch, of course. So. It's good stuff, as you can see. Solidarity, comrades. See you at the festival.